Good morning. First, I like to thank God always the head of my household for blessing us all to see another day with some promises. I thank God for watching over us all as we slept last night. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your protection. Thank you for your angels camping around our homes, around our bedside. And I want to tell you all, I just pray the enemy is busy like no before. God is testing you each and every day. God is testing your faith. God is allowing things to happen in your life over and over again. He's going to put that same test in your way until you pass it. I got hit with the same test. Three years. The same test came right back after another, right back after another, right back after another. And God know what you are in need of. The problem with the Christians are how can God bless you when you don't even must trust him? You don't even have faith in God. You can't pray without faith. Worrying is, you know, human, but worrying is not of God. And I tell you this, when you focus on Jesus, focus on God, and give it to God completely, God already worked it out. But he's going to still put that storm in your way to see will you be able to trust him. I always use Peter. Because I started off as like Peter when I first got saved. Peter had the faith. Jesus told Peter to come walk on the water. And Peter was walking. Till he saw the storm. The water. He saw the storm getting out of control. And he kept his eyes off of Jesus. That's why he fell down the water. And that what happened in our lives. We sit there, say we got the faith, but don't really have the faith. We sit there and say we can trust God, but we don't really trust God. You know, when the storm come in our life, we start to doubt God like Thomas did. Not to have faith in God. I'm telling you all, this journey is not going to be easy. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, some people are not going to make it to the end. You know, this is the only beginning of sorrows. This is the only beginning of what to come. Because God is about to allow a lot of things to happen in this world. And God knows who's going to stand. And he already knows the ones who going to turn his back on him. So I just pray that you all just stay encouraged. Stay prayed up. Stay covered up in the blood. I don't care what comes your way. You have to trust in God. Don't worry about your problems. God know what you need. You have to be full time in this. You have to be faithful to God. You be faithful to God, God going to be faithful to you. You have to start speaking miracles out of your life. You got to start speaking and decreeing blessings over your life. Why well, speak and decree right now blessings on your life. I speak and decree that no weapons formed against you shall prosper. I speak and decree that you should have jobs. I ask God right now to touch our hearts this morning. Remove that stress. Remove that worrying spirit. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. The blood pressure, I curse off your body. Diabetes, I curse. I curse everything that's not of God, ungodly. The yokes shall be broken off your body in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch their mind, Lord. Keep them with the right sound of mind, the right state of mind. If God brought you out before, he's going to bring you out again. Stop blaming the devil on everything that's going on in your life. Because the devil can't do nothing to you without God's permission. And God is allowing so much stuff to happen to you people. To wake you up. God is not playing with not me. And not no one else. 
He gonna send destruction out soon. And I hope you all be ready. And it's time out for a lot of things that's going on in this world. It's time to start focusing on God and start worrying about the world. The world trying to distract God's children with all this mess that's going on. The devil knows what he's doing. He knows how to make a war race. Race war with this flag that's going on. He knows how to get people distracted, but the devil is a liar. I see right through him. But we got to constantly pray. You got to constantly fast. You got to constantly, you got to be the one to go to God and surrender. You got to, God going to strip you. God going to strip you and it's not going to be easy. With these three walks I walked with God, it wasn't easy. But God held my hand through it all. I had prayer warriors. I stayed in church. I had people praying for me. Pray for my child. I stand on my knees with my child for some Almost probably for about six months praying for my child. I pray for everybody. Everybody. Everybody around this world. People who didn't talk about me. I pray for them. I forgive them. You have to forgive yourself in order to love. You can't hate people. You can't talk about people and say you love the Lord. I'm telling you, enemies using people and people in your family. And where God is taking us, some people can't go. Go about to raise people up like myself and others and sit the rest of them down. He's coming into church homes. It's time to get your household in order. It's time to stop playing. You can't run from your calling. I tried it. God got a hold to me. And I thank God. I thank Jesus for changing my life because I don't look like what I have been through. I ask God to use me each and every day to talk to someone that needs a word of encouragement. Talk to someone about God. Do they know who God is? Do they believe in Jesus? I ask that. I go out and witness to the world. I'm about everything I speak on Facebook and behind this camera. God uses me and he can use you as well. You can't just sit on your, your butt all day and not do God's work. You can't just pay your tithes every Sunday and not do God's work. You have to go out and witness. You got to do things in church. You have to love one another just as God loved us. Jesus died for all our sins when he never sinned at all. Never sinned at all. If Jesus forgave everyone, why we can't forgive? They pierced him to his side. They beat him. They spit on him. They talked about him. And he still got on that cross and stretched his arms out and died on the cross for our sins. Think about that. Jesus dying for us. And this is how this evil world is repaying him. Be blessed. Have a blessed and prosper day. I'll be back on here later. Um, I got things to do this morning, so be blessed. I love you all.